hey, what up, everybody? We're talking about uh, UFC 202 fight card, and everybody knows the fight card's gonna have Conor McGregor versus Nate Diaz. And that's the fight that everybody's tuning into for. So you got Connor, which is 19, 3 and 0, and Diaz, which is 20 and 10 and 0. So I, I really assume this fight's probably going to go uh, a lot differently than the first fight, but I definitely think it's going to go um, out of the second round. I think it's going to go probably the third round, maybe. And I think Diaz will probably still win because he's a bigger, stronger guy. But Conor McGregor does have the ability to beat Diaz. But no way is he gassing Diaz out. And there's no way I don't think he's knocking Diaz out. Nick and Nate can take a hell of a punch. And we know what Nate is capable of doing. Shit talking. Uh, he has the, the better boxing. The cardio for months. And he has the longer reach advantage. As you can see, he has a 72-inch reach. Connor 69 inch reach and Connor even said in one of those uh, interviews that he's actually underweight so he actually does not even walk around at 170 he's probably like at 165 168 so he actually has to eat more to, to actually keep the weight on than eating a healthy clean diet like he would when he goes to 155 or 145 and like I said, we know who what that fight's all about. So, when you get into the next fight, it's going to be Glober DeShera, which is 25 and 4, and Anthony Rumbo Johnson, 21 and 5. We know what that guy's capable of doing. He's capable of just walking right up, punching you and walking away. The one punch brutal knockout. Um, the way to beat Anthony Johnson is to be very, very aggressive towards him and pressure the hell out of him. And that's been shown to uh, be his weakness. He can't deal with adversity. When you had um, Daniel Cormier fought him, he was pressuring and pressuring and pressuring and pressuring him. And what happened? He got pressured and got beat up because he's not one of those guys that's good when someone's just taking it through adversity. And... You know, Glover DeShera is a really good fighter. Really likes to stand in the pocket and stand and bang. I'm going for Anthony Rumble Johnson on that fight. Then you got Rick Story, which was, at one point, one of the baddest men on the planet at 170 pounds. At 19 and 8 versus... Donald Cowboy Cerrone, which is 30 and 7. And Donald Cerrone in this fight is having a longer reach advantage. Um, Donald Cerrone has looked really great at 170. I think he's making a run for the title. I think he's one of the baddest men on the planet. He's one of those guys who comes to fight every time he comes in. And he does not back down. And his uh, jiu-jitsu skills are uh, phenomenal. Everybody knows him for his boxing and for his stand-up game. But nah, this dude has extremely, extremely good grappling. And that's pretty much the only fight I'm really uh, looking forward to. Because if you look at the uh, rest of the fight card, it's like really, really stacked all that, all that uh, well. At least for my mind, it's not one of the most stacked cards. So the third fight... On the fight card, like I said, and in the co-main event and main event are what people are talking um, But I definitely think Donald Cerrone is the better fighter and has been showing he is a bigger, stronger fighter. And he might not be the biggest guy at 170 because he used to cut to 155. Uh, but the dude has the skill set to win. So... Today, UFC 202, this Saturday night, I'm picking Donald Taroni over Rick Story, Anthony Rumble Johnson over Glover DeShera, and then I'm picking 
Nate Diaz over Conor McGregor. And that's tough to say because I'm a big, huge Conor McGregor fan. I'm just saying I think the size advantage of Nate Diaz is just too much for Conor McGregor to deal with. But that's just my opinion. Let me know by smashing that like button. Hit the subscribe button. What do you guys think? And who do you guys think is the uh, real deal in this fight? Is it Nate Diaz that's going to get beat up with a full training camp? Or is Conor McGregor just going to come out there in like 30 seconds and knock him out? Because that is capable MMA. Anything is capable of happening. But like I said, I'm Trevor. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.